Hey everybody and welcome to this week's Layer by Layer. Today we're going to take a look at using 123D to create a curved horn shape like the one you see here. So the first thing you'll need to do is figure out the size that you want your horns to be. In our case I'm using the 12 NeoPixel ring uh, to illuminate the horn so I measured it out to about 36 millimeters. So in 123D we'll make a sketch and we'll make it about 42 millimeters to accommodate for the thickness of the horns. So the next thing you need to do is create an array of sketches that will form our curved shape. So the first thing we'll do is select the sketch, make a copy of it by uh, copying and pasting, and then move it up on the y-axis to 15 millimeters. Next we'll rotate the, uh, the sketch on its x-axis here to 22.5 degrees and then we'll rotate it again but this time on the y-axis uh, to 22 to negative 22.5 so now you have this sort of uh, angled uh, shape and what we'll need to do is to make uh, 10 different copies and apply the same steps to it so in this case we'll grab this last one that we made copy it paste it move it up 15 millimeters rotate it on the x by 22.5 degrees rotate it on the Y by negative 22.5 degrees and we'll do this uh, 10 different times. So once you've repeated the steps 10 different times you should be left with an array of sketches that kinda looks like um, like a snake or something that's coming out. So the next step you need to do is to scale all of these individual sketches down by, by uh, one by point one. Uh, so when you scale something you have um, a factor of one 2 doubles it, 3 makes it 3 times bigger. So in this case we're going to drop it by 1. So that means we're going to put 0.9. And then the next one we'll put 0.8. And the following one 0.7 and so on and so on. Until we get down to 0.1. Okay, so once you scale down all the 10 sketches, you should be left with uh, a, a, an array of sketches that looks more or less like a spiral. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to loft between all these sketches to create our shape. So the first thing we'll do is select the first sketch, and the second, and the third. It's really important that you select the sketches uh, sort of line linearly so that, uh, that the function and the order of operations uh, create the shape the way we want. Okay, so they're all selected. Next thing we're going to do is roll over the, um, the gear and select loft. And what 123 is going to do is lock between all of these sketches and create a solid out of it. And there's our shape. You can go over here in the tool panel and hit uh, hide sketches so you can see just the shape. And that's the shape we want. Um, the next thing you can do is uh, select the, um, the object and then select the edge here on the tip. And then we can apply a fillet so that it is a little bit more curvy. So in this case we'll add uh, probably two millimeters, there you go. So it rounds it off nicely. And then the next thing you can do, of course, is shell the, uh, the shape out so that you can print it in a, in a hollow shape. To do that, we select the object and then highlight the, uh, the bottom surface. Uh, and then we'll select the shell uh, option. And then I'll just go ahead and put 1.5. And there you have it. There is our awesome curved horn. The next thing you can do is add straps to the bottom so that you can mount it to a head accessory. And then the, one of the last steps you can do is make a uh, mirrored copy of it so that you can have a left horn and a right horn. So to do that we will create a polyline right where we want to duplicate it. In this case it's going to be in the middle here like so. And what we'll do is we'll use this uh, polyline as a reference point for uh, mirroring the shape. So what I mean by that is we'll just select this shape. We'll go up here to Pattern and click on Mirror. And then we'll change uh, the solid option to Mirror Plane. And then we'll select uh, this, um, this polyline that we made. And then you'll see that the copy is uh, duplicated on the right there. And there is your mirrored copy. All right, that's how to make um, horns in 123D. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more 3D printed projects from Adafruit.